So how do you feel about ending Naruto and starting Boruto? Well, I don't feel anything. You don't feel anything? No. I'm just milking my way out of the only series I have that's got a lot of attention. And I'm just trying to live off of that. Oh. I see. Well... Cause you know, it's really hard out here in Japan. Anime is life, you know? So like, I'm surrounded by the images of better anime constantly. The peer pressure of knowing my anime and stories are inferior is a constant drag. But I mean... I'm just so glad that my idea of super-powered ninja kids became such a hit. I'm so rich now. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I see. Well... Also, did you see what I did there? I said drag. Like Shikamaru would. He's one of my favorite characters in my own series, you know? Y yeah I caught that. Speaking of Shikamaru being your favorite character, like, is there anyone else? Hmm. I gotta say, out of everyone, I like Sasuke the best. Shocker. But I still like Shikamaru too. I like Sasuke and Shikamaru. A lot. I like them a lot. They're my absolute favorites. Why is that? I mean, everyone has a reason for liking a certain character, so what's yours? Hmm. I gotta say, it's probably because they both were inspired by myself. Really? Cause Shikamaru is a well-established genius in the series, and I feel like I'm also a genius for making up an idea about super-powered ninja kids. Wow. Shikamaru is also really lazy, which I feel I am too. Ahahaha. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but when it comes to storytelling, I do get rather lazy. Yeah, I noticed. Anyway, the reason Sasuke is my favorite character is, well, just look at him. He's cool, laid back, and he's a little distant, just like a certain person we know in real life. Ho ho ho. Oh, <laughs> like Hirohiko Araki. Yes. But overall, he's an amazing character who reminds me of myself sometimes. Like I said, he's handsome and very popular, just like me. And fun fact, he's probably the only character to have gone through the greatest character development in my story. Really? Yes, really. Really? Like, you don't think anyone else has gone through any great character development at all? Just Sasuke? Hmm... Yeah, I mean, one thing about a lot of my characters is, I don't do much with them. Whoever isn't important and or isn't the main character just... <sighs> the story does not revolve around them, and I make sure of that. They are inferior, unneeded, and unwanted. Uh-huh. And, uh, just who's the main character of your story, Naruto? Sasuke. Uh-huh. But your story's title is Naruto. Yeah, I made sure from the beginning that the story title had something catchy. Like, it would have a ring to it, and be something related to something that I like. Oh. So you like Naruto, the character in which you've created? No. I like the fish cakes and ramen. Back home in Nihon, we call them Naruto. Wait. You see, <laughs> I can see where people might mistake that the story is about the character Naruto, but it is actually all about ramen. If you take a close look at all the ramen bowls in the story, you'll see there's always a fish cake. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. The title of your story kind of sort of has nothing, nothing to, do to do with the story. Oh really? Then why don't you preach that shit to Tite Kubo, considering everything about his story has nothing to do with cleaning products? Oh. Well, I mean, you're, you're right, I guess. Yeah. As I was saying, I wanted to create a catchy title to my story before I even thought of it. And you know, I was eating breakfast one morning, and the title hit me. Oh, so you eat ramen for breakfast? What? 
No, that's stupid. But you just said, I was eating breakfast. Ice cream to be more specific. An inspiration hit me. I really like fish cakes. I like the name my people of Nihon call fish cakes. So I named my story Naruto. So before your story even became a reality, you ate ice cream one morning and decided to name your story Naruto because you just realized you like fish cakes and your story somewhat centers around fish cakes even though you have a character named Naruto and you claim that Sasuke was the main character. I was gonna make Shikamaru the main character too. Can you believe that? Please respond to my previous statement. It was going to be Sasuke, Naruto, and Shikamaru as the main characters of the story. But again, I didn't know the idea yet. So then I thought, well Masashi, you always thought you were a ninja in a past life. So go through with that. Live through Sasuke and Shikamaru. And so I did. W what? Yeah, so with a lot of thinking, I came up with a ninja story and the idea for ninja teams. But then I thought, ha, huh, what a sausage fest. Let me make up a few new characters who are girl females and make them Sasuke's girlfriends. B Wait a minute. And that's when I created Sakura. She's the only one I paid the most attention to out of all the girl females. Cause I always wanted a waifu with pink hair and there weren't really a lot that I liked at the time. So yeah, she became a thing. Yeah, speaking of that, why did you make Sakura and Sasuke's relationship, if I can even call it that, so volatile, vague, and, well, annoying if your true intentions were to make Sakura Sasuke's girlfriend? Well, I'm a cool guy, and a lot of girls like cool guys, so I wanted to make myself seem open and available, even though I actually get into a relationship in the series. Wait, you mean Sasuke? Isn't that what I said? No. Instead of talking about Sasuke, you kind of kept talking about yourself. I am Sasuke. Okay, well, it, it's getting late. So, uh, if you notice in the series, Naruto and Sasuke's relationship are a lot closer than anyone else's. That is my means of symbolism. What the fuck are you saying? I love noodles. I love Naruto. I am Sasuke. And that's what my whole story is about. What? Even though the friendship relationship between Naruto and Sasuke were volatile at times, it was only because in real life, I had to diet. I could not eat noodles anymore, so that meant no more fish cakes. I was sad, miserable, and lonely. I remember sitting in the corner of my room, glaring at the paint on the walls, cursing the fact that I loved noodles, I loved fish cakes, but they were gone from me. So what happened to me in real life affected the story. That's when you start to see Naruto and Sasuke fight a lot, because in real life I was fighting my inner demons and drawing them into my story. So you're saying Naruto has nothing to do with Naruto Uzumaki, but has everything to do with you envisioning yourself as Sasuke and hating a character that you made to personify ramen noodles? Naruto likes ramen in the story, cause he is ramen to me in real life. Uh, okay, I'm done. I'm too tired for this shit. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.